Oh, how you doing? <laughs> how good does that feel? Now you're asking the <laughs> questions with the obvious answers, right? Uh, you know, that, that's so hard to do. Of all the teams, we played really good in the Big 12 since we've been in the league against everybody except for TCU. Uh, they've had our number for a long time, but we won two out of three last year at their place, and they won the league. And to sweep them here, that's five out of the last six. That's, uh, that's really, really hard to do. They've got a great tradition over there. They went to Omaha like three, three years in a row, uh, not too long ago. So for us to, to do what we did this weekend with the crowds and the atmosphere, uh, you have no idea how hard it is. It's so hard, but our guys are playing at a pretty high level right now. You really put together big innings, wrote home runs a lot this weekend, get another big one from Grant today. Did you have a suspicion you were going to be able to hit the power that well with this one? Yeah, you know, I was hit 11 last year, so you kind of expect them to be around there uh, next year. But, you know, with Neely and Wall, those two guys that are new to the program, you have no idea what you're going to get out of those guys uh, as far as home run production. And you got Garcia and Sam White. They're a freshman, never know how that's going to go. So, going into the season, I wouldn't say we're a power team, but uh, it sure is nice. Uh, the only thing, my, my favorite play used to be a three run homer, but now it's a grand slam <laughs> uh, when we hit. So, uh, but yeah, that's, I mean, it's Hussey hit a three run homer, White did Friday, Garcia did Saturday. That's just a crushing blow. Uh, to score three runs with one pitch. What about Grant's first hit near lefty lefty in the opposite field? Uh, that was more, probably more impressive than the home you know, because left on left, or a uh, kid from the state of West Virginia, you don't grow up seeing tremendous left handed pitching as a high school kid. So to step into the Big 12, and, you know, there to uh, back into their bullpen, guys that have been, that guy was their closer uh, last year, and for him to go out there and do what he did, that's pretty impressive for him. In regards to, to, go ahead. You know, coming into today, JJ would be available to hit for you? Yeah, we made a trial run this morning. We brought uh, some pitchers out and he took some live at bats and just to see if he was ready. And didn't want to start him, didn't want to tax him. Uh, the situation was perfect, up by five. Uh, and of course, when he left, we were up by eight. You know, so <laughs> that's just JJ being JJ. You know, so. That, that's encouraging. He'll, we'll see how he feels tomorrow because that was a pretty big day of swinging for him. So don't know if he'll be available on Tuesday or not. Just wait and see. In regards to Robbie's start, obviously that grand slam was kind of a big blow, but you could take that out. Is there any positives you would take out of the start? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. He was he was good. You know, the, the, we scored eight. You know, he sat over in the dugout for probably 30 minutes. You know, that's not easy as a starting pitcher to go out and throw four innings and then sit for 30 minutes and try and throw another. You only get five warm-ups to start the inning, so that's always worrisome. Uh, I mean, I'll take the eight runs, of course, but they're always worried about how the pitcher's going to come out. And then, you know, you walk the leadoff guy after the eight-run inning, and it's, that's how it always starts. So, you, know, you guys always get on me for how much I change pitchers. A lot of times I do it to keep their guy in the dugout. So that's part of it too. So, uh, but he, he was good. He'll uh, as as the season unfolds and his pitch count gets higher and higher, he'll be able to last a lot longer in the games.